Hey guys, I got another interview question for you. And the question is, what is the diamond problem? Now the first thing that we need to do is take this question and break it down to two parts. So the number one thing that stands out is the diamond problem. First, let's talk about the diamond. So when we're talking about a diamond in computer science, the diamond refers to a class inheritance diagram. And that diagram looks something like this. So as you can see here, what we have is four classes, A, B, C, and D. And as you can see, they resemble the shape of a diamond, just like this. All right, so that's what the diamond is. Now you may be asking yourself, what's the problem? Well, this is the problem here. So let's just say we have four classes, just like you saw in the previous slide, A, B, C, and D. So we have A here, which is a superclass, and both B and C inherit from class A, which is legal in Java. So basically, we have two child classes that are both inheriting from this parent class here. But when we get to D down here, um, basically, if D tries to inherit from B and C, um, this is not possible and this is where the problem lies so the diamond problem is pretty much this so let's just say we go into class a and class a has a method inside of it and then we have a child class of a called b and we also have a child class of c now if a already has a method b has the ability to override the method inside of a and C also has the ability to override the method that already exists in A. But let's just say D tries to inherit from B and C. So if D tries to inherit from B and try to override the method that has already been overwritten in A, um, it is allowed just for B. But if you try to inherit from C and try to override that method, the class D would get confused and it won't know which method to override because they're pretty much the same method also you know that in one class you can't have a method of the same name um, but ultimately the class D would just get confused on which method to override now as you know already in Java Java doesn't allow multiple inheritance it only allows you to extend one class so for example if you were in one class you would use the extends keyword you can only inherit from one class and the reason you can only inherit from one class is because of this diamond problem so hopefully this made a little bit of sense to you guys and what I wanted to do now is actually show you um, how to recreate the diamond problem in Java so let's get right to the code here is an empty project as you can see I've already created my application object class here we have our main method but in this part of the video we're basically going to be recreating the diamond problem and if you remember from my slides there were four classes in that diamond diagram that I showed you and we had classes a B C and D so the first thing that we need to do is create those classes right now so let's do that right now. New class, class A, go to finish. Then want to create another class, class B, and go to finish. Create another class, class C, finish, and then class D, finish. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is actually start off with class A. Now, class A is going to be our super class. Now, what we want to do in class A is actually just create ourselves a method. We just want to go public void method from A. And then actually just do a system.out.println. Then we just want to print out the message 
method from A. All right, so we have A as our superclass. And if you remember from my slides, the classes B and C both inherit from class A. And actually, let me zoom this in for you guys. All right. So we had classes B and C, which both inherit from class A. So B extends A. And then we have C, which extends A. All right. So what we want to do now is actually override the method from class A. And then we just want to go public void method from A. Then we just want to go here. And then pretty much you're just going to have the same, the similar message. We're just going to say method from B. From B. All right. And then we actually just want to go to class C and pretty much do the same thing. Public void method from A. And the thing about this override annotation is that we don't need to put it there because if we have a method from A here and we just have the extends A, Java already knows that we're going to be overriding this method. This annotation is basically just used to make sure that it's clear what we're doing. We're pretty much just overriding the method of class A. All right. method from C. All right, so, so far we have our super class A, which has a method from A, and basically it's printing out method from A, and then we have class B, which is gonna print out method from B, then we have class C, which prints out method from C. Now, we're gonna get to class D. All right, so class D, is going to try to extend from B and C. Now we know that in Java, extending from two classes is not allowed. And in my slides, I was actually showing you why, you know, inheriting from, you know, these two classes is not allowed. It's simply because of the diamond problem. And as I said in my slides also, is that D would get confused on which method it would need to override. So if we were to do something like this, at override public class B, no, um, public void actually, public void method from A, And then we were to copy this. Class D would get confused. Okay. Um, first of all, we know that in Java, you're not allowed to actually have two methods of the same name. And another thing is that D, if it were to inherit from B and C, it would get confused on which method it needs to override since they're, since class B and C 
contain methods that both inherit from class A. So this is the diamond problem right here. Um, so that's pretty much it. You know, if you ever get asked this on an interview, hopefully you have a better understanding of what the diamond problem is and the reason of why Java doesn't have multiple inheritance. And I learned this basically during interviews. If someone asks you what the diamond problem is, you can basically, you know, just give the explanation that is when one class tries to inherit from multiple classes that have a common that have a common base class, pretty much. You know, and if anyone asks you why doesn't Java allow multiple inheritance, you can pretty much just say the diamond problem. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys. So to wrap it up, just remember, if you're ever on an interview and you're asked this question, what is the diamond problem? You can simply say, when you try to perform multiple inheritance from two or more superclasses that have a common base class. And if you're ever asked this during an interview, why doesn't Java allow multiple inheritance? You can simply say, because of the diamond problem. Now, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something from here. And also, don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next one.